good afternoon. We will pay attention to the first in, first out inventory system of cost evaluation. The information is given telling us that the FIFO method is used. That means the first goods purchase will be sold first and the last goods purchase will form part of the closing inventory. Then they give us information. So because we are using the first in, first out method, it means that we can calculate what is the total number of units and then determine what is the value of our stock. So the units at the beginning of the year was eight units. So we show that we've got eight units. Purchases is 10 units, 15 units, 12 units. So we bought 37 units and we sold 10 and 15. So we sold 25 and that means that we've got 20 units left over at the end of the year. The closing stock will be valued at the latest purchases. So it means you will go to March, see how many did you buy in March. If it's not 20, then you will go to February and January, etc. So the latest purchases was in March when you bought things for 7 Rand 50. So I will say 12 units that was purchased in March times 7 Rand 50 gives me 90 Rand. We've got 20 units left over. In the last purchases, there's 8 units. So it means in the second last purchases, we must have 8 units. So I will go to the second last purchases when we bought goods at 7 Rand. So 8 times 7 gives me 56 and that will give me the total value of closing stock as 145. Then we will calculate the cost of sales figure. Older stock are always sold first. So that means the things that we bought in January will be sold first, then the things that we bought in February, then in March. And we sold a total of 25 units. So we must determine what was the cost price of the 25 units. At the beginning of the year, we had eight units that cost four rand. So that was 32 rand. Then secondly, we bought 10 units of five rand, cost 50 rand. The total units must be 25. So 25 minus 18 means that from the third purchases, we still have seven units left over 49. So our cost of sales is 131. If we want to calculate the gross profit, we will use the figures that we calculated now, taking the sales less cost of sales. Sales, we've sold 25 units at 12 rand each, so my total sales price is 300 rand. The cost of sales we calculated as 131, so I can show the cost of sales as 131, and if I subtract it from the sales, my gross profit will be 169. In the periodic system, we don't have a cost of sales account during the year, so we will have to do a calculation to determine the cost of sales. So my total sales was 10 units at 12 rand and 15 units at 12 rand. That will give me 300, so both those figures are the same. My opening inventory was 32 rand. My purchases, total purchases, we will just have to look and see what was my total purchases. And that was the total amount that we bought was 10 units at 5 rand, so that's 50 rand. And 15 units at 7 rand gives me 105 rand. And 12 units at 7 rand 50 will give me 90. So if I add the 90 plus the 105, it's 195, plus the 50 is 245. So I can determine my uh, cost total purchases as 245 rand. 
Then we've calculated the closing inventory as 146 Rand. So opening inventory 32 plus purchases 246 minus closing inventory 146 will give me 131 Rand. So you see that whether you use the perpetual or the periodic system, in both systems, your cost of sales will be 132. And in both systems, your sales will be 30. And in both systems, your gross profit will be 169. So what did we learn today? When the FIFO method is used, first purchases will be sold first. And all the purchases that's left over at the end of the year, the last purchases, will form part of my closing inventory. Because the first goods are sold first, the cost of sales will consist of your first purchases, second purchases, third purchases. The closing inventory will consist of the last purchases, second last purchases, etc. When the FIFO method is used, the cost of sales and closing inventory figure will be the same irrespective whether you use the periodic or perpetual inventory system because you don't calculate the figures every time. You will only do a calculation at the end of the year if it's a periodic system. But because you do the same method where the first purchases will be sold first and the last purchases will be sold last or will form part of the closing inventory, you will get exactly the same results if you use the FIFO method, irrespective if you use the periodic or the perpetual inventory system.